people who grew up with strict parents, what was their most unreasonable rule? Have a friend who isn't allowed to go out if he's already had too much fun this weekend. That's the only reason, they think he'll become corrupted if he has too much fun, and that he won't know how to work. He's in college. How was your weekend? Oh, really boring, didn't have any fun. Victory. I was not allowed to talk to boys. One Christmas Eve day, I was doing last minute shopping in the downtown of our little town. I ran into two male friends from my German class, and we talked for several minutes and wished each other a Merry Christmas. Oh, I was 15 at the time. My older sister drove by and saw me, told my parents I was hanging out with boys. When I walked in the house, both my parents were waiting, and the yelling began. Some Christmas Eve. I wasn't allowed to say I died on Mario. I lost one of my chances to succeed. I had a ton. I think the most unreasonable was that we, my siblings and I, weren't allowed to know where we were going during car rides. If we'd ask, we were told business, and figure it out we were going to the store, etc. Only after we arrived at our destination. This lasted until I moved out. Another was asking for permission to use the bathroom every time. This didn't last as long. My best friend growing up had the thing about not asking where we were going or really any question at all. Her parents didn't like being asked questions, so you had to avoid it at all costs. You also weren't allowed to drink with your meals. It was strange, because we always get drinks with our food in my family. It's hard for me to eat without drinking, cause my mouth and throats get dry and hurt, and I would basically be choking. But you couldn't get a drink of water until after you were finished eating. If you said you were done to get something to drink, and then wanted more food, they would say, No, you had your drink, now you can't eat anymore. It was very odd, I really don't understand it. I avoided meals there as much as possible. No trends, or passing fads. Pokemon, banned. Barbies, banned. Beanie Babies, banned. PlayStation slash Game Boys? Banned. Anything particularly fashionable, or popular regardless of actual merit was met with derision, and we'd be mocked for even suggesting interest. We were achingly from P kids with interests and cultural references, or lack thereof, that isolated us from our peers, and they wondered why each of us were bullied. My parents were slack, my best friend's parents were so strict. She would escape to my house for freedom. 12th grade. Prom. Her parents allowed her to go to prom, but said she wasn't allowed to dance. We all went to prom, had fun dancing. Until she saw her parents standing at the back watching. She then moved out for university. After her first year, she came home to work for the summer. She had been on her own for a year and supporting herself, and her parents gave her a 9pm curfew. She spent a lot of time at my house that summer. She was married by the next summer and didn't have to deal with it. Edit, this is a small selection of the intense upbringing my friend went through. Tiny even. I had a friend who wasn't allowed to sit on the couch. No matter the circumstances. That was the first time I realized something was really wrong in his house. The kicker, it was a crappy couch, so it's not like he was going to ruin it. I changed my mind, I guess my parents weren't so bad. Edit. Since a couple people asked what I was going to say, it sounds pretty lame now compared to the rest of this thread, but I'll explain a few. We weren't allowed to swim in rivers, we were rarely allowed to go to friends houses, unless the parents knew each other, we weren't allowed to go anywhere on our own until we could drive, which was 18 for me, and just the usual strict parent pushing to get or lays. For every minute I was late coming in from curfew, I got grounded a week. I once spent 10 weeks grounded due to sobriety checkpoint. Wow, for me it was every minute late is a minute earlier the next day. Mine is logical, yours is insane. Dad was a narcissist. Biggest rule in the house was not to make any noise around him. If he was home, the whole house got quiet and tense. Even my mom used to eat her cereal in the bedroom because she'd get in trouble for chewing crunchy food. Now she's long rid of him and married to a way better guy but she still apologizes for eating crackers. I wasn't allowed to shrug, or say I don't know. 
if anything tech related went wrong, it was assumed that I broke it on purpose, even if the only reason anyone knew it was broken is because I was trying to fix it. Birthday parties were a no go, Christmas was a no go, any party whatsoever was a no go. I have too many to name growing up in an Asian household, but the one that was the most embarrassing was, I was not allowed to shave my legs or armpits, and I hit puberty at an early age. So I had really hairy armpits and legs, and was forced to wear shorts to gym class. I was so embarrassed about my legs that I would wear shorts with opaque pantyhose, which just made the whole situation worse, and was the butt of many jokes in middle school. My mom has apologized thousands of times since, but it still brings back crappy memories. Freshman year of high school, I had one of those wispy poo statues that all teenage boys have. My mother refused to let me shave. I got called everything from pedo stash to dirty Sanchez. 15 years later, the joke's on her. I have a long ass viking beard, and she constantly bitches at me to shave. Sorry mom, can't. Not allowed was forced to drop out of school in the fifth grade, because my grandmother believed that most people have no souls and were demon possessed. She said that the world was unsafe to roam freely, because Satan was trying to corrupt God's children. This led to a very sheltered life, and very silly things like having to pray over every individual item that entered the house. Food, toiletries, dish soap, you name it. I'd get woken up at 2am to be screamed at for 3 plus hours over something God had told her that I did wrong. So yeah, I guess the most unreasonable rule I grew up with was not being allowed to leave the house. There were a lot, but the most ridiculous one to me was they didn't want me volunteering during high school. I was visiting the elderly, and they said it was too dangerous to be around strangers like that, and the time was taking away from my studies. Most extracurriculars I wanted to do they had a huge problem with, but it didn't hit me how absurd it was until it was about senior citizens. The ironic thing is, those things look great on college applications. My mom was insanely controlling about food. Weird rules were in place like, one slice of lunch meat per sandwich. No one but her was allowed to cook. She'd make one giant batch of spaghetti or something, and we'd have leftovers for days. So she only had to make dinner twice a week. She did not work or anything, just didn't like cooking every day. Breakfast was cold cereal, and you'd only be allowed a small bowl with just enough milk to moisten it. Occasionally she'd bake something she called corn toasties, which were simply cornbread baked in a sheet pan. She'd cut them into squares and fill the freezer with them, and we could have one of those for breakfast as an alternative. Once when I was 14. I bought a pack of hot dogs at the store, snuck them home, and lit the grill. I was almost done cooking them, when she came out screaming about fire hazards and swatted the plate out of my hand. She had been making spaghetti, what an ungrateful little bastard I was. So then she orders a pizza for the rest of my family, wraps individual servings of spaghetti in freezer paper, and puts them away. She tells me that I will be eating nothing else until it's all gone took about two months to choke it all down. Went without eating a lot of days. I was also grounded for over a year. But I sure learned a lot about consequences. Females of the family must cook and clean on holidays, while males watch TV. Must bus males plates every night. No visiting friends houses, no friends over at our house all the way through high school. Hair cannot be cut at or above shoulder. 7 p.m. bedtime. Not curfew. Bedtime. Through junior high. Strictly enforced. Needless to say, I rebelled strong and hard. No dating till marriage. Huh? My parents were pretty slack on everything except one thing. No video games console ever, and no online games on the computer, because that's how you get virus and make the computer run slow. So I was playing my MMORPG when they were sleeping, in a hidden file. In a file, in another file, in another file, and I was changing the appearance of every file icon. And this is how you reverse your child's sleep schedule. We could not listen to music with guitars in it. I will never forget the day my brother was listening to Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, and my father took the radio and threw it through the window. Spent my childhood listening to Richard Marks and Michael Bolton. Thanks dad. Oh god. 
I wasn't allowed to go out, like ever. If I was gonna hang out with someone, it had to be on the weekend planned at least a week ahead, and my parents had to meet their parents and drive me there. They would come get me before the sun went down. Not a rule, but if I got up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, or was reading because I couldn't sleep, my mom would come screaming up the stairs, why are you up? I wasn't allowed to close the door in my room. There's more, but that's what I can think of right now. Mostly my mother would just yell about everything. 30 minutes of internet time a day, and 99% of the time, that was supervised, as in mom looking over my shoulder and commenting on conversations. We had web TV, rest in peace, and when they weren't home, they would literally lock the keyboard in a toolbox. My sis and I could never have friends stay over, because the house is a mess. No amount of cleaning satisfied mom, because the real reason was she wanted to be able to fight with my dad at will. My mom was very strict about the ratings of movies and video games. One year for Christmas, a relative gave me a copy of Star Wars, Shadows of the Empire for the Nintendo 64. It was a T-14 rated game, and I wouldn't be turning 13 for another 4 weeks. My mom had my dad drive me to Toys R Us to return the game. We walked into the store, and over to the games, and he had me pick out an E, for every one, rated game. We proceeded to check out, and as we went to the car, he handed me not only the new game, but the game we were supposed to have returned to buy it as well, and told me not to let her catch me playing it. I was not allowed to watch Pokemon because it taught evolution. Haha. Ha. My mom wouldn't let me have any female friends growing up. Jokes on her, I'm gay. Ha ha ha. I'm a lesbian, I've been out and dating since I was like 13, but my mom spent most of my teen years in denial. So I wasn't allowed to spend time with boys alone, or have them sleep over, but girls were fine. Indian parents, I could stay at a sleepover until 2am, but couldn't actually sleep at that person's house, lol. I wasn't allowed to cross any streets until middle school. This, my best friends were the ones who lived on the same block as me. We couldn't go sledding during the winter, or any other season, obviously, because my mom was a neat freak and didn't want snow slogged into the garage. So, no snow playing of any kind, really. Never built a snowman. Did go sledding when I was an adult. It's pretty great. All of our clothes in our closet had to be arranged by color, descending in order by shade. So, for example, midnight blue at one end of the blue section, and tarheel blue at the other. There was a system in place for colors too, so if the yellows were by the purples, for example, there'd be hell to pay. No shoes on in the house under any circumstances. Was super uncomfortable when my brother's friend, who had prosthetic legs and always had shoes on, came over and didn't take his shoes off. Mom got really mad and confronted him. No Legos or puzzles allowed, as they make messes and look like disorder. I ducking love puzzles as an adult. One of my favorite hobbies. What happened to the friend with prosthetic legs? Did your mom get embarrassed or? My mom let it go the first time because he was only in the kitchen. Then, one day, she came home from work and we were downstairs playing college slam on SNES. And she asked him, not particularly nicely, if my 12 year old self remembers correctly, why he thought he was so special that he didn't have to take his shoes off in our house when everyone else did. He responded by lifting up his jeans and showing his Jordans resting in a pair of fake legs and said, I'm sorry ma'am. If I take them off, I'll have to take my legs off too. My mom offered a half-hearted apology and went upstairs. She never commented on it again. I was not allowed to wear makeup or shave until 16. My mom was controlling about food. Everything was kept track of. I had to be in marching band in order to get my permit. I had a job, but even if I worked second shift, which I did, and came home at 11, I would have to clear the plates from the table for the dinner that they ate. If I asked to hang out with a friend in the presence of said friend, the answer was automatically no. I was only allowed to do things if the friend or their parent was paying for it. The straw that broke the camel's back, and ultimately made me move out at 16, was that I had to live like a boarder. Showers cost 5 dollars, 
a load of laundry was $1 for washer, $1 for dryer. Telephone time cost 25 cents per minute. I had a friend who wasn't allowed to say the word stupid, and tried to report me to the teacher when I said it. Teacher yelled at me and then told me it was okay in private, and not to say it around that one kid. Nice guy though, just had a helicopter mom. My wife's parents are still strict, and it's annoying whenever we visit. You are not allowed to sleep in even if you're off work, and you can't lounge around in your PJs, and have to be fully dressed in the morning, again, even if you don't work. Shit doesn't make sense. Edit, the majority of people replying have been asking why we put up with it. Well, we barely stay over. It's usually just holidays, so it's not like it's all the time. It was more prevalent when my wife still lived there when we first met. We just go along with it to stay on their good side, as they help us out when we need it. A friend of mine wasn't allowed to wear shorts to school, unless it was already over 80 degrees when she had to leave. School started at 7.40 am, so this almost never happened, even on days when it reached over 90 midday. The school didn't have air conditioning, 